Hi, today I'm fixing a slow leak from the bottom of a closed couple toilet. It's a continuous leak and I found the reason, which we'll discuss in a minute, but also show you how to avoid it when you fit your own toilet and the critical things that are important for sealing and also a very good sealant to use that I haven't seen mentioned by other plants. It's always worth doing plumbing yourself because you know exactly what you've done and you can take your time to think about where leaks can happen. So this one was a very slow continuous leak, not related to the toilet flushing, dripped inside a uh, concealed cupboard unit, got underneath the vinyl, and as you can see, flows the whole room over probably at least a year. Loads and loads of water. I have to have a dehumidifier running to get rid of it all. It's going to take ages. The tools required are pretty simple. Some way you'll have an isolating valve. You need a little flat bladed screwdriver. Turn the valve off. Then disconnect with a spanner. The water supply from the cistern. Underneath here is a couple of wing nuts on each side. Uh, then you'll be able to lift the whole thing off. This one I've already disconnected. The lid comes off. And I've actually taken out the flush cistern already. And here it is. Here's the flush valve. That went on the inside. Had been uh, fitted what you'd say is properly, i.e. the big rubber seal on the inside. And the critical thing is to stop the water getting from inside the cistern past this first seal. Because if this is not a good seal, then water will get into the threads and come on the inside of the nut. So no matter how much uh, sealing you put around the outside, water will still come on the inside. Uh, normally that wouldn't be too much of a problem because of course that goes straight down into your toilet. The reason this was leaking is this donut which came with the system, which is a piece of foam, uh, is not very effective, well not effective at all actually, because it eventually leaked and could have been fitted better, which we'll discuss in a minute. So it was fitted like this, with the donut placed on top, that squashed on the toilet, pulled down by these two bolts being tightened up, and as you can see, that's where the recess was, uh, well a recess was made, squashed into the foam by the nut. But, it's going to need a lot of squashing, and did need a lot of squashing, for it to do any sealing. Probably seals against the nuts okay, which is okay to stop the flushing water coming out and going out the, uh, the side of the bowl. But the problem was the seal uh, around uh, the side of the nut here. This is where the seal inside the system gets really critical. And if this seal hasn't been uh, fitted very centrally, and you can see where the marks are on it, it was a little bit offset to one side. Also accentuated by the fact that uh, you can have slight imperfections on the surface, or the rough surface of the system, and uh, there's a little bit of ceramic sticking up on one side, I could see. Then you might have a slow leak through this seal, and with this kit, the washer that goes with the nuts is actually quite hard plastic, so not great at sealing. Uh, there's no sealing compound on it, the water gets past that first seal on the inside. Could be relatively easy to come out between two surfaces, either between the plastic washer and the nut, or between the plastic washer and the cistern. And again, this is quite rough, and there's no uh, sort of sealant on it. Then, if that washer's on there, the only thing that's going to stop that going down the side of the toilet is if this uh, piece of foam manages to jam up against the cistern which as you can see is very difficult. It probably helped if when it was installed, it was actually lifted over the nut like that. And then there's less distance for the foam to go to squash onto the uh, system. And more chance if the water leaks from the outside of the nut, the water will then come on the inside of the foam washer. But as it was fitted, just plonked on like that. This seals against the toilet. So if water leaks around this uh, edge of the nut, then all it's going to do to put that in place is leak down the side here, come and leak on the floor, which was exactly what's happening. I've made a right mess and, and has given me a lot of work, which is a pain in the ass. So two things we can do to avoid that. First, use this absolutely brilliant seal that I've used on a lot of automotive projects. It seals against anything oil, paraffin, seawater, steam, as well as water of course, and it's resistant to uh, both temperature and pressure. Overkill for this job, but it's a really good sealant. 
and I'll use that on the inside of the system around the seal to take up any rough edges and that will be the first line of defence to stop water coming out from this point here. Uh, secondly, instead of that rather rubbish foam seal, get yourself a decent donut seal. Uh, so measure the dimensions of your cistern and your hole and look on eBay or Amazon for one that is the right size. Fits both on the toilet, on the toilet so that one seals nicely against the ceramic, doesn't really move around very much and also is going to fit over your nut quite nicely without too much of a gap and if you can stretch it over the top of the nut such that uh, there's minimal distance between the rubber and the system when you put it on and then uh, it hasn't got to squash too far down when you are uh, tightening up those nuts, those wing nuts on the bolts because it still can be quite an uneven distance around there and, and a bit of a gap I'm going to use a thicker sealant this is my uh, jointing compound, uh, which is nice and thick, sort of putty stuff. Some I've seen people also recommend uh, Plumber's Mate, rather similar, sticky and gooey. Hopefully we won't need too much of that. And then while we're at it, we need to make sure that the seals on the other side of these nuts and washers uh, are good as well. So you can see the rubber washer has to go on the inside of the system. So that could conceivably suffer from the same problem of uh, trying to seal against a rough surface. Um, so what we could do is either bit sealant on those uh, rubber washers. The only trouble with a lot of sealant is because it can be quite slippery, it can uh, help the rubber actually squeeze out from the nuts as you're tightening it up, which you want to avoid. The other way of uh, providing another level of seal is to brush some sealant all around the top, around the washer, to stop water getting onto the uh, bolt in the first place and stop it coming through. Trying to seal afterwards around the outside of the nut, like has been done here, it's got silicon around here, is not a lot of good if, it, if the water is coming down the thread in between the uh, bolt and the nut because it will just come out underneath. So pay attention to that as well, primarily on the inside. So often you'll have a retaining bracket on here, on the other side of the nut as well, which these uh, two bolts uh, go through. Uh, but the principles are saying, just think about how water is going to get in, and if it gets past a level of sealing, then where is it going to go? And concentrate on uh, stopping the water going down that route. So I'm going to start putting on some of this Helvite sealant. Takes a while to go off, make sure your uh, surface is all uh, nice and dry. So as it takes between 20 minutes and overnight to completely cure. So because I'm doing it myself at my own home, I'm going to leave it overnight before I uh, top up the system with water. That's the rubber washer in place and then just do the same on top of that as well. Because I see it was a bit crusty. I'm reusing the old washer. Obviously the water was getting past this side of the rubber. I'm leaving a bit of a deposit probably. Plenty on there. You could use that jointed compound or plumber's mate or whatever your favourite sealant is, but I wouldn't recommend silicon because it's a bit too slippy and it does tend to let go after a few years. Now try and make sure that it's centralised in the hole to again have a good chance of sealing before you tighten up the nut. And again, nice bit of sealant on the rough surface of the uh, system and it is a little bit rough, it's not completely smooth, there's a little chip around there which again is going to make sealing all the more difficult. Get that washer to it, seal on top of that and we're going to assemble the whole thing. So before I put the flush valve in, not pretty but I put lots of the Heldite sealant around the top of the nuts, around the hole and around the uh, inlet valve area. I don't think those were leaking but just in case when you're fitting it, make sure this overflow extension here is not sitting on top of the bolt because it won't go in straight. And you'll need some pliers like these to do it with the nut when you hold the valve on the inside, which you're going to have to do now two-handed, excuse me. And now the only thing that's left is to uh, fit thickly some jointing compound in between this washer and the system. Either put it there or there and uh, try and get it in place centrally. If you can lift it over the nut, fine. If not, you'll have to rely on it being squashed and the sealant 
sealing it against the uh, system. You can probably see how well it is sealed and squashed against the system once you've tightened it down in place. So there we go, a bit of overcurl but nice and thick. And hopefully we'll be able to tell whether it's squashed evenly all the way around because when you tighten it up we expect it to squidge out evenly all the way around. And now it's all reassembled. Check for a nice closed gap. Check that it's level with respect to the pan. Check your pan is level on the floor. And remount your wall screws. Um, don't tighten it up too much so that it pulls the system away from the pan. Check that everything's I say, lined up properly. And then fill it up, check for water leaks. Um, hopefully that fixes your leak if you've got one and stops you getting leaks in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.